All right, I haven't been putting out any videos lately, mainly because of the weather and the fact that the, when the weather was nice, I had to had to do some stuff around the house and the yard and cut down some some trees that fell over from the hurricane and all that crap. So uh, up until about the second week of April, it's going to be pretty busy uh, busy for me. So I'm going to try to get out on the water as much as I can. And also have some of a surprise coming soon, hopefully within a week. But um, anyway, I figured I'd just go over uh, the fishing knots that I use. In my opinion, they're probably the strongest and pretty easy as well and quick. So the first one I'm going to go over is the loop knot. This is the one I use probably 95% of the time. Because the more action you can get out of your lure, the better. And it's a pretty simple knot to tie, and I really haven't had any failures with it that I can recall. So I'm going to stick to that until I find something better, but this is what I've been using for about two years now, maybe more. Um, anyway, so you start off with an, you got your uh, line here. I will just say that this right here is the eye of the hook or your lure. So what you want to do is make an overhand knot, take your tag end, so right there you got an overhand knot. You can adjust this um, now or you can wait till later depending on how big you want your loop. I like my loop to be really small so I don't get any like snags or anything with treble hooks or anything like that. So with your tag end, you want to bring it through your hook or lure and always make sure that this loop is facing away from me. I'm trying to do this as a point of view of me tying a knot so I kind of have the, the camera all weird and I can't really tell how good it is right now. But I always have this pointing away from me just because it's consistent. So I take the tag end, go through the loop, grab it, and then at this point is where you can um, pull it to see um, how big you want your loop. Like I said, for me, the smaller the better, as long as your lure gets plenty of action and your eye can you know, swivel on it really good. So you wanna take that tag end, and I just make four loops, or four um, wraps. Then you take what's left, and you bring it from behind back through your loop, and pull. Now this is gonna go way smoother on um, a smaller line, obviously. But, so you pull it, and then once you pull this down, these coils should go straight down like that. And you just take your tag end. Your tag end, if you did it correctly, should be pointing down. That way when you reel your lure this way, any weeds or anything, it's not catching on them. And you can cut this pretty close. I usually leave just like a, just a little bit. But I haven't had this slip or anything um, as far as you know how close you want to cut the tag end. I haven't had it slip or nothing. And then you got yourself a loop knot. So I'll uh, just go over all the knots that I use, but I'll just do them in separate videos that way. If someone's brand new and learning, they don't have to you know rewind and watch it over again on a 10 minute video. So I'll just do one knot at a time. But that is the loop knot. And this is my favorite knot and the one I use about 95% of the time. Like I said, I haven't had it fail yet. I've had it break at the loop, but the knot itself, I really haven't had any issues with. And I pull through oysters, get hung up on oysters. and So this is definitely my go-to knot. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. I'm sure there's a hundred more out there, but I need to, to do something fishing related since I've been so busy. So I figured I would, uh, let you guys know what knots are my favorite and what knots I use the most. So thanks for watching.